Hey guys, this is Liz Kaneda from Sleep Lens. I have another tutorial in the series for the brick and mortar workflow. I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of the brushes that come with this workflow and how you can use them to enhance the details in your architecture photography. So if you've seen any of the videos before, you'll know that this workflow is all about architecture photography. And when we're looking at architecture photography, the most important thing are the details within the buildings or structures or whatever you're photographing. So we're going to be talking about a couple of the brushes that come in here that are important for enhancing those details. I've got a picture pulled up. I'm just going to go ahead and start right in my brushes. So you're going to go over here and hit your brush tab here and new. So I have my brick and mortar brushes right here and I'm going to be opening the first one I'm going to use is the enhanced clouds. This one's great for any kind of definition you're looking to get back in the sky here. So as you can see, it's adding contrast, color, and it's just kind of darkening it up here a little bit. And if you put your cursor over here, you can see everywhere that you've highlighted. If, if you are a little, like, you know, on the picky side, you can even make your brush smaller and kind of get into these small areas. So you're going to go ahead and hit New. If you don't hit New and you choose a new brush, what it does is it applies that to the brush that you already just applied. So you have to make sure to hit new in between. So now I'm going to be using the brighter shadows brush. And to actually show you guys that this actually works, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead first and just mess with this photograph and I'm going to turn the shadows down a little bit. All right, so I have the brighter shadows brush and then so as you can see, it's just brightening up everything, which is bringing the detail back into the photograph here. So now we've got all this detail back in the building. And as you can see, it might be a little too bright, so you can go ahead and adjust your brush over here. All right, so that's the clouds brush, and we went over the bright and shadows brush. I'm going to move to a different photograph, and we're going to look at some other brushes. So as you can see, this photograph has a nice sunset, so we're going to be using the enhanced sunset, which as you can see has a nice peach tone to it. And I'm just going to be using that all around here to just add a kind of extra glow to the sun here. I'm going to go ahead and hit new. The next brush I'm going to show you guys is the water definition brush. So this brush is great to use if you have any water. What it's going to do is enhance the contrast and clarity and add definition. I'm going to hit new again. And now I'm going to be showing you the temperature brushes. So there are two temperature brushes, cooler and warmer, that come with this. I'm going to be using the cooler one because so here the temperature is turned down cooler and I'm going to be using it in the water here because I do kind of want to add more of a blue color to the water so you would use the cooler brush in any situations where you want to add a cooler tone or a kind of blue tone and the warmer one would be the opposite so for some reason if you didn't want to use the sunset brush you could use the warmer brush and it would probably work just as well on the sunset here so moving on to the last photograph we're going to look at some other brushes. If I can open the photograph. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to be using the brighter shadows brush one more time. Because what I want to do is I want to get these buildings a little bit brighter and bring out the detail in them. And the feathering on these brushes is kind of, I have it, I always have it turned up as a, at 100. If you don't know what the feathering means, that means when I apply the brush in the circle, if you can see the circle right here, around the edges of the circle, um, feathering means it kind of like fades out and it's not really an abrupt change, if that makes sense. So I turn my feathering all the way up so that I don't have to be quite exact with the brush here. Like even if I run it into, you know, the sidewalk, it doesn't make much of a difference. Alright, I'm going to hit new. 
So another important brush is the details brush here, which is going to be enhancing the clarity and sharpness. And I'm just going to go ahead and use that all in these buildings. So as you can see, it's bringing out the detail in the brickwork and in the windows. And of course, you can do all these adjustments with presets, but the brushes just allow you a little bit more control if you're trying to work in just one area. You know, I'm not trying to work up in the sky here, or really down the sidewalk. I'm just working in this strip of buildings and restaurants here. So that's what the brush allows me to do. I'm going to hit new. Another great brush that comes with this workflow is the window reflections. And this is something you might not think about, but I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. But these kind of brightening up these reflections in the window add to the photograph a lot. It is, it, it's a detail that just kind of overall just gives everything a nice polished look. And you don't have to sit here and highlight every single window. You can do which ones you want. I did these three right here because they are the main that have like the most reflection in them. Alright, and to finish off this photograph, I'm going to be using the clouds brush one more time. So I'm using the enhanced clouds. I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger. And as you can see, this is kind of dark. But you do see how it is putting the contrast and the details back into the clouds. But it is slightly too dark for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and turn the shadows up a little bit. And the exposure as well. And I'm also going to turn the saturation up. All right, so there are some of the key brushes that come in this workflow and will help enhance your photographs. I hope you guys like this short tutorial and you'll be able to try it out for yourself.